Hi everybody, welcome back to Bobble Pop Kids. We're gonna be making some MLP Rarity Slime. Here we go, we have our beautiful little Rarity. Ooh, look at her hair, it's super shiny. So far on the show, I think I've made so many different pony slimes. We did Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, who else? I think I did Twilight Sparkle, Applejack, and I'm super excited to do Rarity. She is definitely one of my faves. We are going to decorate this cute little jar and make some pretty purple sparkle slime. And stay tuned, because at the end of the show, we have the cutest little lip balm and nail set. It's a sweet lemonade lip and nail set. It's kind of like a little lemon pod. There's lip gloss in there, two scented nail polishes, nail file. That is so adorable. Let's do this. I love making my slime putty. So I'm just gonna get two Elmer's glues. You can use any color you like, the glittery kind. I'm just gonna use plain white and dump them in. Since our little Rarity Pony has the most beautiful purplish blue hair, I think I'm gonna get some purple food coloring and turn this white glue into a pretty, pretty color. Let's mix it and see. Ooh, so, so pretty. It's like a lavender. That color looks amazing. Just keep twisting. Maybe just a drop more, make it a little darker. I think the color is perfect. Not too dark, not too light, somewhere in the middle. And to make it sparkly, I have all of these pretty little confettis. Let's sprinkle the whole <laughs> container in, see how that goes. Boop. Looks like glitter soup. Ooh, I love this. Here is the next step. I have a little cup of warm water. I'm gonna pour a little bit of some borax into there. Not too much. I'm not really measuring it, just enough to make it a little cloudy. And I'm gonna mix that up. Here we go. I'm gonna pour a little of that solution, not the whole entire cup, just a little. And start working it into the glue. And instantly it's turning into some kind of flubber or putty. This works so, so amazing. Just keep stirring it up. Ooh, that glitter is blinding me. <laughs> super, super pretty. Boop. So a good way to check this is if you put your fingers in it and it's kind of sticking to it like gum, you need a little more of the solution. So just pour a little more in and mix it up in there. Instead of using a little stirrer stick, I think it's fun to get in there with your hand, get all messy and sticky. This is the funnest part. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> it looks like purple gum. We're getting there. It's kind of turning into slime. Ah! After about four minutes of twisting and turning, here is our Rarity Putty or slime. This is so, so cool. It came out so good. It's super stretchy and soft. Doesn't stick to your fingers anymore. And it's got all those little glitter pieces. Ooh, this slime is sticky and gritty. <laughs> I love this slime just because it's filled with all of that confetti in there. It doesn't look as sparkly as it did before, but it's so, so cool. This is so stretchy. I think you could stretch across the whole room. <laughs> it just keeps going and going, kind of like taffy. I think I can really play with this all day. <laughs> it's just so much fun and squishy. It's like a big piece of bubble gum. Just keep stretching. Ooh, and this makes the funniest cracking noises ever. It's like cracking and popping. 
This is like a super noise putty. Hard to believe you can make something so much fun with only two little bottles of glue and a little laundry detergent. Amazing! Never get tired of my putty. Time to package and decorate. So, usually I use these tall kind of glass bottles, but I found this cute little one. It's the cutest little shape. And I've got my putty here, so I'm just going to put it in here so it doesn't dry out. Ah! And then we're going to decorate it rarity style. It's going to look so, so cute. Oop, and I have a little more to put in there. Oop, I think I could put the whole thing. Shove it in. Ooh, pretty. Looks like grape jelly. Time to decorate. I love decorating these little jars. So I have my little rarity here and I'm just gonna take some super glue and just put some on her hooves to stick her right to the top of the jar. Boop. And just press down for a couple minutes. And it's looking cute already. How cute would this be to give one of your friends who loves rarity or just display it in your bedroom? Cute decoration. The top of this jar is looking a little tired and boring, so I'm gonna get some diamond gem stickers and dazzle it up. This is dazzling now. It's all blinked out. Look at all these pretty diamonds. It really transformed this little mason jar. So, so beautiful. So I'm gonna get another strand of these little diamonds and put them on the bottom and maybe this top little ring here. Can you believe how beautiful this looks? It looks like a little jar that you put your jewelry in. You can actually, even when you're done with this, use it in the bathroom, put your little cotton puffs or Q-tips in there. And I love, love, love these gem stickers because you don't have to put super glue and stick them individually. There is adhesive. And if you press on them for a while, maybe like a couple minutes, these will stay on there forever. So here's the progress of our fancy little rarity jar. It is filled with diamonds, looking so cute. We still have a couple more touches to add. I think for the final touch, we can add a little bit of this blue puppy paint. It's such a bright color, kind of the color of her cutie marks, and fill in all of this silver, make it look really nice. Ooh, Rarity looks like she's standing in a big blue swimming pool. <laughs> that blue looks so pretty against the white. Now I'm just gonna take some of this gold glitter and sprinkle it on there. Ooh, that gold glitter looks awesome. Kind of looks like pieces of real gold. It looks so royal and fancy. And for the finishing touch, how cute would it be, not on the front, but on the back of the jar, to put a little rarity sticker? That would be so, so awesome. Adorable! Look how pretty that little sticker looks. And when you flip it around, you have rarity on the top and a clear jar to see all your pretty putty. Here's our finished product and this came out amazing. <laughs> I love the little sticker on the back, that blue with the gold. Everything just looks so, so cute. And the best part about these jars is when you're done with the putty and you don't want it anymore, you could use it as a little storage box. You could put paper clips, anything. You could put little shopkins in there. You can really keep this forever. And when you want to get to your putty, all you have to do is just unscrew the top and there it is. We 
finished our little crafty and now it's time for the lip gloss. Look at this. I've never ever seen any kind of shape like this before. It is a little lemon. <laughs> it's lemonade scented and then we get these two mini little nail polishes. One looks like it's apple and this looks like a plum. Let's open it. Here we go. Look at this adorable little set. <laughs> I am just speechless right now. Look at these tiny little bottles. One is like a purple, one is a super hot pink. You also get this little nail file. Ooh, look at all those sparkles on there. I guess this would be the file inside. Here's a close up of these tiny little BB bottles. Ooh, I cannot wait to smell them. And for our lemon. <laughs> I never thought I would have a lip gloss in the shape of an actual lemon. So, so funny. Here it is. Ooh, look at that. I thought it may have like one of those EOS bubbles. This smells so good, you guys. It really, really does smell like lemonade. And it is so, so glossy. Look at that shine. Ah, so sweet. And this thing is jam-packed with balm. Look at this. It's filled from top to bottom. That is so, so cool. You are going to have lemon lip balm forever. <laughs> it's really going to last for a long time. I am loving that. to test out our little fruit piece here. This one looks, I don't know, kind of looks like a plum. See, it smells, mm, it does. <laughs> it smells, I don't know, kind of like candy, a little bit of a blueberry scent in there, but definitely not your average nail polish. Here's how the color came out on that one, super purple and plummy, really smells amazing. And for the apple one, it's kind of like a hot pink. Ooh, I think I like this one a little better. <laughs> Super bright. Oh, it smells good too. It doesn't smell like apples. This one smells like strawberries. Amazing. So there's both of them. They're kind of similar, but the pink is really neon and bright. I'm liking that one the best, but they both pretty much smell the same. Really, really fruity and sweet. There it is guys, it's the end of the show. We did our MLP little craft and had the yummiest scented fruit cosmetic set. I loved all these pieces. We're gonna have so many more fun videos coming up on the show. This is Bubble Pop Kids and you can click this big red subscribe button here and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day, bye.